chances in that first half, or obviously that there's some player in the situation, maybe a key player that might have changed the course of the game. It's a little frustrating in that sense. Can't hear you. It's a little frustration because you see the guys in that first half were maybe just a couple of plays away from maybe getting the lead or getting the key score. I think it's always frustrating um, as an offense when you can't really produce how you want to. Um, it's always a play too short. Don't quite get it, so that's always kind of frustrating. But I mean, it's a long game. It's a long game, a long season. So I keep fighting, keep battling. I think we did it today. I think today we just kind of we kept fighting and fighting. We just think we came up short and we get it done. Can you talk a little bit about Michael Vick as a leader and what he brought to you guys at the end of the game, driving you, helping you drive down the field? Yeah, I definitely feel comfortable with Michael. Um, he's, he's our leader. He's our guy. The offense does not run without him. I think uh, no matter how many rushing yards or passing we had, the offense does not work without Mike. So I think the guys that did a good job of protecting him um, and, and the play selection, I think it was good. I think Mike executed very well. I thought the guys up front played well. So, like I said, man, Mike's our guy. You know, we ride with him. He'll we'll go as far as it takes us. Did the Chargers stack the box against you, and, and did you feel their plan was to try to take your running game out? Well, they stacked the box. You know, but we still was, was getting the yards on the ground. I thought that um, I thought they did play they play okay. Um, I mean, honest, to be honest, even stacking the box, I didn't think that as a defense they were really effective. Uh, but, but I think when, when you play us, you know, you watch tape, how do you stop the, the Eagles offense? I mean, what do you want to do? Do you want to try to stack the box and, and completely take the running game out of the, the game? And then that happens. You wind up with 400 and something yards passing. So just, just the ways that as a defense, whatever, whatever you want to do. I felt like the um, passing game was very effective today. So this came up short. Do you, do you relish or I mean, look forward to playing again in four days? I mean, you think that'll help? Oh, man. Things? I think with a, a close loss like this, you kind of look at all the small plays you should have made or you could have made. So now we have a, a short week during the game. It's four days. You can't wait to play. Get this bad taste out your mouth. This feeling, um, I felt like last week was the energy was just amazing. Get a loss, so let's try to get, the, get a win to get back on the winning, winning side of things. I know it's a cool one. What did Chip say to the team after the loss in the locker room? Um, he just said hey, it's, it's football. You know, you have some games you win, you lose some games you lose. The thing is, a long season. Let's keep fighting. Um, he's right. He's definitely right. We just gotta keep fighting. Play hard together. I think when all three phases play well together, we win. Shane, you know, last week you guys scored uh, 33 and, and had to hang out to win at the end. Today scored uh, what thirty and lost. I mean, is that, is that the year it's going to be? I mean, it's going to be these games are all going to be in the thirties and high scoring and kind of shootout type games. Do you, do you see that happening? Well, well, I hope not. I hope we get some, some easy games where we're up by thirty and they have about three. <laughs> but however it goes, that's 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 we got to prepare for. It. The only thing we can do is control on the offensive side. What we do the defense control what the defense does, special teams, and play play together. I think we're a team. We're a good team. The goal was this year to get in the playoffs and win a championship. You know, the goal was never to go undefeated. So we got a lot more room for improvement. I think we'll do that tomorrow. We can take it, get better, practice. And now we got to worry about the Chiefs. We got my big guy coming there, Andy Reid. And, uh, it's going to be an exciting game. Have you thought?